Government shutdown. Which agencies are next in line to close? Vertical line world news vertical line tech guardian dot com. Turn auto play off. Turn auto play on. Please activate cookies in order to turn auto play off. Jump to content test. Jump to comments C. Jump to site navigation 0. Jump to search for. Terms and conditions 8. Edition, UK US so. Your activity. Email subscriptions. Account details. Link services. Profile mobile. About us. About us. Australia team. Contact us. FAQs. Press office. Jobs. Terms of service. Privacy policy. Advertising guide. Guardian Weekly. Subscribe. How to subscribe. Guardian Weekly. Email services. Ethany. Android. Dot GSC control CSC width, 25 rem exclamation point important, padding, 0, float, right, input dot GSC search button background color, number sign PDDDDD, border color, number sign PDDDDD, input dot GSC search button colon hover background color, number 999, border color, number 999, news, world, sport, comment, culture. Business, Environment, Science, Travel, Technology, Life and Style, Data, TV, Video, News, World News, U.S. Politics, Government Shutdown, Which Agencies Are Next In Line Too Close? Some agencies and services are still operating as usual by Euros but if no deal is struck, backup funds could run out by early next week. Share, Tweet This, Female, Amanda Holbach in New York. TheGuardian.com, Saturday, October 5, 2013, 07.08 AEST. Jump to comments. Amtrak gets a considerable portion of its funding from the U.S. government. Photograph, Can City No Flash Corbis. We're nearly a week into U.S. government's partial shutdown, which has seen the closure of numerous federal services and the furlough of non essential employees. Congress appears no closer to reaching an agreement as still functioning agencies deplete the surplus funds allowing them to operate. The shutdown has put FDA's food inspectors on furlough, as well as most of NASA, and it's caused the Department of Veterans Affairs already severe backlog of disability claims to get worse. Though some agencies are still operating as usual, the backup funds keeping them going could run out as early as next week. Education the Head Start preschool program for 967,000 children from low-income families closed on shutdown day. Some states providing contingency funding to keep the programs in place, but five programs have closed so far, affecting more than 5,000 children. The program to close in Georgia is the largest known to have closed. According to the Washington Post, 23 Head Start programs were up for grant renewals the day the government shut down including the five that closed. Public schools will remain open, even though the Education Department is suspending most of its operations. Domestic violence programs Rape crisis programs and domestic violence shelters could start closing as early as Monday after the Office of Justice programs stops disbursing funds on Friday. Each of these programs is reliant on federal funding to a different degree, and the amount of reserve funds can change on a county-by-county -county and state-by-state -state basis. Julie Bornhoft, the director at Weave, Sacramento's Agency for Victims of Violence and Sexual Assault, told Think Progress that its funding is diversified enough to provide some stability. However, Bornhoft said, for an organization that is predominantly funded through federal grants or federally derived grants, even temporary disruption in cash flow will be detrimental. The courts. The Supreme Court will hear its first arguments of the year on Monday, as scheduled. Judges are scheduled to hear six cases next week, including one on political campaign donation limits. The court's building will remain open to the public as normal and boasts one of the few functioning government websites. These measures are only guaranteed through October 11, when an update will be provided if the government is still shut down. Federal courts, however, only have funds to last through October 15. Courts will then have to start furloughing employees. But U.S. Courts Administrative Office Director Judge John Bates said before the shutdown that courts would still be able to handle most cases. Veterans Services Most Department of Veterans Affairs services